Part 9. Trigger Warning. So as the ceiling moves down towards the kids, it's, I think it's Isaac, CJ, and Sadie um, pulling Sam out of the way of the incoming ceiling. Of course, Isaac being a little clumsy, he trips and CJ has to go help him get him out of the way. And Sadie is almost there with Sam. Uh, as the ceiling comes down, Sam is then crushed right in front of her sister. Her arm is detached from her body, and that is all Sadie has left holding. She's sitting there holding her sister's arm, watching her getting crushed right in front of her. The sight, the smell, the sounds of bones, organs, whimpering, the skull and the brain spewing from orifices right in front of the kids. A grotesque scene, stomach churning, <sighs> traumatizing. And that is the catalyst for the gore for the rest of the book. So one kid down. Moving onward, back to the hangman game while everyone is still actively in shock. They figure out the riddle, they take the knife, and I believe it's either CJ that stabs the hangman in the head. And I think ants, like fire ants, come spewing out of the head and begins biting the kid, which causes them to freak out and CJ drops the knife. This is important because Bobby sees the knife and Bobby picks up the knife and puts it in his waistband, hiding it from the kids. That's important later. One thing I forgot to mention that Geraldine brings up later in the spy room, the parents had a button on their chair where they could use to communicate with the kids in the playground. They were only allowed 10 seconds. It was meant to be like their last words to their kids. So if a parent wanted to communicate with the kids, they could press the button and speak to them. And once a parent uses those 10 seconds up, they never get a chance to speak to the kids again. And I think it was this next part coming up where Molly spoke, if I can remember right. But they come into a new playground area where there's these m really tall monkey bars and the kids were trying to figure out how they were going to cross this tall monkey bars which below drop off into an abyss so if they fell from the monkey bars before they reached the other platform on the other side to the platform they would fall to their deaths into these dark abyss they don't spend a lot of time in this area it was pretty described pretty quickly so molly used this as a chance to speak and she let the kids know that, be wary, the monkey bars are greased, so you will fall if you go the way you're planning to go, which changed their plans entirely.